Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Um, we had a snow day here in Omaha and um, it's snowing now so I'm kind of wondering if we're going to end up with another snow day tomorrow. Um, I hope not because other than yesterday, um, we were home Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, the kids went to daycare for a little bit yesterday while I ran some errands. <clears throat> and then today we are all getting a little bit stir crazy. Um, but anyway, this week's um, challenge or just kind of um, thought, I guess, um, came to me in an email today and I, I was kind of struggling on what I was going to talk about tonight. And so <clears throat> I'm thankful I got that email because um, it kind of fit into things that I struggle with now and things that I've always kind of struggled with. And so I thought I would just bring it up. So the email was the danger of caring what other people think and the author of the first part of this is Beth Barrett and then I got some other stuff from psychology today um, but one of the quotes that was on there is Aristotle there is only one way to avoid criticism do nothing say nothing and be nothing don't tiptoe through life because you're afraid of someone disapproving of you hey Jamie uh, it went okay you know how my kids are it was pretty wild <laughs> Um, are you guys getting snow up there? I think we're still going to get a little bit more, but, um, so this is your life after all, not a dress rehearsal. I want my, I want to teach my children to go after their dreams, no matter what anyone thinks of them. And so for me to put my dreams on hold or for me to second guess myself based on what other people think is kind of silly if that's not something that I feel like my children should have to go through. So have you ever shrunk away from something you're passionate about because you're concerned about what someone thinks? Thinking about the alternative and what that might cost you could be the solution to you getting out of your head and getting into action. Lots of wind up there. Yeah, well, what's new, right? <laughs> um, I Some of this speaks volumes to me. Um, when I was basically a nomad, traveling around the country, moving all over for track, um, I thought I had you know, like everyone's full support. And then I, I found out that there were people that just didn't want me to succeed. And that criticism really hurt me and it, um, it affected me. Um, I'm not going to say that it's not the reason I'm not an Olympian. Um, but it really, it really hurt me to know that people, <clears throat> you know, weren't supporting me and, and didn't want me to reach my goals. And, I know that probably now, you know, I make a lot of posts about my company and I make a lot of posts about what I'm doing and, and maybe that bothers people. But at the end of the day, if something bothers somebody, it says a lot more about them than it does about you. And I know that that's hard to keep in mind, but it really is something you should keep in mind. So the rest of the stuff I kind of got from psychology today. To feel accepted is nearly a universal human desire. I mean, we all want to fit in. You know, we, through evolution, we had to, to team up and, and solve problems together. And so that's, that's a normal desire. But when we analyze each look or word that comes our way, that, that gives us clues whether we're accepted or being judged, it can really affect us in a negative way. And, and I know I am 100% guilty of this. There are times, just like a week and a half ago, my boss told me, Aubrey, you need to focus on the positives of a meeting because every time we come out of a meeting, I always tell him, oh, I could do this better. I could have done that better. And he's like, yeah, but the whole thing was a success. And, and I appreciate the fact that you want to do better, but look at the positives too and, and think about the things that went right. So I am 100% guilty of this. And that's why I thought it would be good to share about it because it's something that we can all work on together this week. So there were eight different um, tips to being able to kind of overcome this. I'm gonna go over six of them just to kind of give you a list, but number one, keep things in perspective. People would care a lot less um, about what other people thought about them if they knew how little they really do think about them. Um, people are caught up in their own stuff, um, in their own job, their family, their stressors, that they really don't think about you that much, you know? they're caught up in their insecurities and so maybe that will make it a lot easier for you to not worry about people because at the end of the day they're probably thinking about their own insecurities instead of something that you said or something you did and and I'm again I'm guilty of this where I'll say something 
and you know a week or two later it's still bothering me or even just an hour later I go back to the person and I'm like hey you know that was dumb whatever and a lot of times they're like yeah okay whatever you know, like they don't even remember so um, keep that in mind number two is question your thinking humans tend toward cognitive distortions and negative thinking we assume the worst we overgeneralize and so when you feel yourself doing that when you catch yourself doing that recognize it and and try to let that go and then it won't be so strong on what you what you worry other people are thinking about you <clears throat> number three let go of perfection we're never going to be perfect no matter what we do no matter what we say like we are we are never going to be perfect and um and like I said earlier, what people think of you has more to do with them than what you said or what you did or or whether you're perfect or not. Um, number four, get to know yourself. What would you do if you could do anything you enjoyed and didn't worry about what people thought? <clears throat> and if you could do that, if you could do exactly what you wanted, not worrying a lot about what people were going to judge you by, go do that, <laughs> right? If, um, like that first part, I was talking about how this is your life, this is not a dress rehearsal. So if it's something that's going to make you happy, if it's something that is um, something you're passionate about, just go for it. Find your tribe. <clears throat> Cultivate auth authenticity, and you'll find those that you're meant to be with. So when you are you, the people that love you for you are going to find you, and you're going to find that people, that that group of people in that tribe. Number six, allow yourself to be vulnerable. It can be terrifying to go against the grain, speak out, take a risk, or face disapproval. Disapproval. Decide what matters to you. Trust yourself and go for it. Um, we don't grow by playing safe. We grow by allowing ourselves a chance to fail. Um, but focus on those positives and, and just go for your goals. So this is something that I need to work on, and so I thought it would be something um, that would be good to bring up to everybody. So um, this week, give it a try, and and let me know what you think. I I second guess these little videos. You know, do do I do anything by by doing these videos every week? I'm I'm not sure, but um, I kind of like doing it. It's it's honestly helping me a lot in my life. I've I've had a lot more patience. It's, I'm not perfect. <laughs> Believe me, I, I still get upset and worked up and, and I still have issues with stuff like this, but I feel like um, doing these videos is helping me. And so I hope that it's helping at least one person out there because then it is worth it for me to get on here and, and say um a billion times and, and stumble on my words sometimes. But um, anyway, if you want to get entered into a drawing for a free product, just share the video. And if you want to give this a try, um, this week, go ahead and leave a comment. And next week, we're going to do the drawing. And, and we don't have a ton of entries this month. So um, Garrett will help me next week to draw for our winner. And we will just um, go from there. So I hope that you have a beautiful evening. And I'll just see you next time.